Greetings, everyone. My name is April Jones, and I'm the Birth to Life founder of the Early Care Institute. So today, I wanted to talk about Wordless Picture Books Part 2. Wordless Picture Books Part 2. So I'm very excited about this. So recently, I went to my local library, and I went into the ch children's section, and I saw the reading specialist there, and I asked her, do you have any great wordless picture books? And to my surprise, there was a wonderful book called Chicken and Cat Cleanup by Sarah Varon. Chicken and Cat Cleanup by Sarah Varon. And Chicken and Cat are best friends. So when Chicken owns his housekeeping business, Cat naturally comes to mind to be the perfect partner. So this is a wonderful wordless book, not only because of the great images in there, but how many parents out there, how many of you all out there, and I know it's plenty of you all out there, that are struggling with your little one cleaning up. <laughs> I know that you're out there. So this will be a wonderful book to even talk about that as well because some books talk have like themes to them, right? They have like different messages that they're trying to convey in the story. But this is really delightful because it has really, really good images in here. So I am going to turn to the very first page of the book. I'm not going to go through all of the um, pages, of course, but I'm just going to touch on some things that I mentioned in my very first wordless picture book series when it talks about creating a home library. That very first video is available on LinkedIn, also YouTube and my Facebook page as well. I have snippets of it on my Instagram page, so if you follow me on my um, website, on my link, you will see all of those um, videos on there. So hopefully you will watch part one first and then you will understand about part two. So part two, so let's jump in it. So part two, so we have chicken right here on the very first page, very first page. And he or she is looking out of the window. Hmm. They're looking out of the window. So you can just even talk about that. Like, what do you think Chicken is looking at? What do you notice? Notice is a word that helps to expand children's vocabulary. You can talk about the shapes that they see in the story. You can talk about the hair and you can talk about all different types of things right there. When we go into the next page, what do you see? What do you see? Oh, the sun is coming through the window a little bit, but our little friend is in the bed and they have their hand or their arm in their hand covering their eyes, so to speak, but we still see their eyes. So what's happening? Is this person confused? Is this person mad? You can talk about the different emotions there. You can compare the two. You know, do you think chicken, is chicken looking serious? Like, what do you think is happening? All of these things that you could possibly probe when it comes to this wordless book story. Now, as you turn the different pages, remember, you know, I'm not going to go through um, all the different types of pages, but look. Here's some images right here. In this story, there are a few words, but it's totally okay for the most part. This, you know, is a wordless um, book because it doesn't have sentences in there. But look, what are they doing? Are they cleaning up? Is chicken washing the dish? And is our friend cat helping? All of those things that you could just probe with the story. So hopefully, you will add some wordless books to your collection. You don't even have to buy them. Go to your local library. And I want to tell parents about that too. Do not neglect your local library. Now that we're living a digital age, now if you want to even extend the book, you don't even have to go to the uh, library anymore. You could just call over the phone and they will extend the extend the story out for you because you can do so much with the wordless book you could come up with your own conclusions you in addition to talking about the images you could talk about things that you want to see you know when you have um once you get done eating dinner just put your plate in the sink you know maybe you can wash it off wash your um, plate off for a little bit 
all of those different things that you can just plug in and talk about. So hopefully you pick up this book, Chicken and Cat Cleanup by Sarah Varon. Um, I love the images in here. I must say, I love these images as well. And I think I'm probably going to write her um, a little email, so to speak. So that is part two of our wordless picture books. Remember, buy some, make sure you add them to your home library. Um, if you have not started with the home library, get started. You don't even have to buy um, any books. Let's not neglect our, our local libraries in our communities as well. And for all of my parents out there that have an abundance of books, do a book swap. You know, if you have great friends, if you have friends in your local community, do a book swap. I know a lot of children um, in my local community have tons and tons of books. And some of you all have so many books, you don't know what to do with them. Child care centers will always gladly accept your books, okay? <laughs> they will, they will. So if you have wonderful books in great condition and they are appropriate for young children, drop them off at your, at your local child, child care center. So have a wonderful day. I look forward to doing more videos about more things and I look forward to you even plugging into the podcast as well, the Birth to Life Early Care Institute. Check it out.